So I got asked in my Instagram DMs by this guy if I could break down this effect. And that's exactly what I've done. And today I'll be sharing it with you guys and show you guys how you can create it without any paid plugins. Also with some paid plugins. Of course, it's a difference between the one with paid plugins and the one without any. But follow along and I'm gonna break everything down. So I'm in After Effects right now and I got this music video that I'll be editing on. And as you can tell, I cut it up in three different parts. This is the first part, which we'll just keep like that. And then we got the second part right here where we'll add the effect. And then for the third part right here, I'll just add some kind of shake. So to this first clip, I will basically do nothing, at least for this beginning phase. I can maybe add something on later, but this is the clip that we will be working on. So I'll create a new adjustment layer. Then I'll head up to FX and presets and I'll search up time warp. And this effect is just built in After Effects. It's a stock effect, so it's not anything that you need to pay for. So I'll start off by changing the speed to 100. Now we're back at the original clip. What I'll be doing is keyframing the speed. And then we can actually like go a few frames in. Like 4 or 5 frames in. Then I'll change it up to like 1300. And I'll go to the end of my clip and cut it right there. The thing with this effect is that it's really not the smoothest. That's why I also recommend that you guys get some paid plugins. It still does the work. So if I play it through I'll show you guys what it looks like. You can mess with the settings and try to get something smooth. Like this is the smoothest that we can get. And I change the shutter samples to 18 and I'll play it through right now. I mean, it still does the work and you can keep it like this if you'd like to. It's still smooth enough to use in like a music video. But that's basically how you do it without any paid plugins. But if you do have Twixer, I would recommend that you remove this effect and add on Twixer instead. It's basically the same effect, but just a little bit smoother. Now you gotta change your input frame rate to the frame rate of your clip. So I'll go to the project and check right here and it says 23. So I'll change it to 23.976. And I'll keyframe the speed like we did last time. Go a few frames in and then turn it up to 1300. And here we can change the kind of how smooth it is. So it will, it will basically add more motion blur the more we turn it up. And right now it looks like this. And if you want to get something smoother, I would recommend that you turn this up to a really low number. Like keep it really low, like even 1 is pretty high for this. So if I turn it up to 1 and play it through, it looks like that. Which is a lot, so I'll turn it down to like 0.15. This is what I usually keep it on, and that's like just enough to do the work. And you can also add on an RSMB if you do have this plugin. And this also just an extra motion blur smoothens it out a little bit extra this is with the rsmb and without it so just a little bit smoother and i'll turn down the bare amount to like 0.25 and we can keep the motion sensitivity at 70 and i'll play it through right now and it looks like that it's smooth i'm pretty happy with it what i'll do now is add a tint effect onto this this is not needed for the effect you can keep it like this if you'd like to but i see a lot of people doing it like this so i'll add on a tint and I'll actually add on an add grain also and change the view mode to final output and I'll keep it like this that's maybe a little bit too much so I'll turn it down and you can also add on a flicker a sapphire flicker what I'm going to use and if you don't have sapphire you can use a strobe light effect and this one this basically works as a flicker but you have to mess a lot with the settings but for the flicker, I'll turn it down to like zero at the beginning. And then at the end right here, I can turn it up to like 0 0.8. Just so we have it like gradually turning up throughout the scene. And I can also add some kind of glow, but I'll just play through right now and see what we got. And right now it looks like this, which is pretty smooth, but I can actually turn up the flicker a little bit because it wasn't too visible right now. So I'll turn it up to 1.4. Now I'll also add on a deep glow, which is also a plugin, but you can use like whatever glow you have. And I'll turn up the threshold to 80 and the radius to 375. And let's key from the exposure. So I'll go to the end and I can actually turn it up to like two. And here around the middle of the scene, I'll turn it down to zero. And I'll also create a graph for this just because I'm pretty picky. So I'll just make sure that it turns up a lot towards the end. Like this. And now I'll play it through and this effect should pretty much be done. So right now it looks like this. Which is crazy. I'm pretty happy with that. 
but I feel like it's missing something in between here like it's just way too flat so I'll create an adjustment layer and I'll cut it right here and I'll add on one of my shakes from my ultimate shake pack which has I believe 25 presets with a lot of crazy shakes like some trippy ones and some basic ones and basically all of the shakes you need so I'll probably add on one of these vertical shakes straight onto the adjustment layer like just straight onto the adjustment layer and I'll actually move the adjustment layer a little bit onto the clip before so that we can have this vertical hit come in And this is the final effect that I got. And I'm pretty happy with it. I think I can actually change up the shake, so I'll remove this one. And I'll add something more trippy to spice this up a little bit more. So I got these splash shakes, I got this trippy optics. So I'll try on this splash shake. So I added on one of these more intense and trippy ones and it looks like this right now. Which is crazy, I feel like that fits a lot more. So feel free to go and check out the pack, I'll leave it linked in the description as well as all of my other packs. But thank you so much for watching, if you enjoyed feel free to leave a like and subscribe. You can also follow me on IG and DM me what kind of effects you want me to break down next. But thank you and I'll see you guys in the next one.